We live in the most amazing moment in time. So that thing that you have up here, whatever it may be, you wanna use healthy eating to cure your diabetes, you wanna figure out how to take care of uh, the elders and start a new hospice center, you wanna move to Africa and build a school, guess what? You could walk into a bookstore right now and buy at least 10 books written by credentialed experts on how the hell you do it. You could Google it, and you could probably find at least, I don't know, a thousand blogs documenting the step-by-step-by-step -by -step -by -step transformation that somebody else is already doing. You can find anybody online and cyberstalk them. You can just walk in their footsteps and let them, you know, just use the science of drafting. Follow what everyone else has done, because somebody else is already doing it. So why don't you have what you want? When you have all the information that you need, you have the contacts that you need, there are probably free tools online that allow you to start a business or join a group or do whatever the heck you want. It all comes down to one word. Shut the front door, you know what I'm talking about? The F-bomb. It's everywhere. You hear it all the time, and I, I honestly don't understand what the appeal is of the word. I mean, you don't sound smart when you say it. And it's really not expressing how you really feel. It's sort of a cheap, you know, shot to take. And of course, you know, I'm talking about the word fine. How you doing? Oh, I'm fine. Oh really, you are? Dragging around those extra 40 pounds, you're fine? Feeling like roommates with your spouse, and you're fine? You haven't had sex in four months, you're fine? Really? I don't think so. But see, here's the deal with saying that you're fine. It's actually genius. Because if you're fine, you don't have to do anything about it. But when you think about this word fine, it just makes me so angry. I mean, here we are at a conference about being alive and you're gonna describe the experience of being alive as fine? What a flimsy and feeble word. If you're crappy, say you're crappy. If you're amazing, say you're amazing. Tell the truth. And this not only goes for the social construct, oh, I don't wanna burden you with the fact that I hate my life, or, you know, hey, I'm amazing, but that would make you feel terrible. The bigger issue, the bigger issue with fine is that you say it to yourself. That thing that you want, I guarantee you, you've convinced yourself that you're fine not having it. That's why you're not pushing yourself. It's the areas in your life where you've given up, where you've said, oh, I'm fine. I, I, my mom's never gonna change, so I just can't have that conversation. I'm fine, you know, we gotta wait until the kids graduate before we get divorced, so. We'll just sleep in separate bedrooms. I'm fine. I lost my job, I can barely pay my bills, but whatever, it's hard to get a job. And you know, one of the reasons why this word also just annoys me so much is scientists have calculated. Oh yeah, I'm coming down. Scientists have calculated the odds of you being born. That's right, they've crunched the numbers. I see you up there. <laughs> they've crunched the numbers on you. Yeah, no, you guys standing up, you wanna sit down for this. <laughs> they've crunched the numbers on you being born. And they took into account all of the wars and the natural disasters and the dinosaurs and everything else. And do you realize that the odds, the odds of you yeah, right here, put your computer away, stand up for me, Doug. <laughs> so the odds of Doug here, turn around, say hi to everybody. The odds, yeah, of Doug, Doug being born at the moment in time he was born to the parents you were born to with the DNA structure that you have, a hundred, or no, one and four hundred trillion. Isn't that amazing? I'm so lucky. Yes, 
you're not fine, you're fantastic. You have life-changing ideas for a reason, and it's not to torture yourself. Thank you. Thank you, Doug. And you know, Christine was right when she said all of you could be on stage, because all of you, we're all in this category. One and 400 trillion. All day long, you have ideas that could change your life, that could change the world, that could change the way that you feel. And what do you do with them?